Hello, good evening and welcome to Night Time Natters. It is Sunday the 19th of October 2014 and it's just after 10.30 in the evening. And Night Time Natters tonight comes from Battersea at, uh, in London. And I'm here because I came home for the weekend to celebrate my niece's third birthday. I flew in on Thursday. And uh, we, I got off the plane and uh, came straight to my mum's house and then we jumped in the car and went to the West End and then went down to my sister's house and spent the night there so we all got up early so we could all be there for the morning to wish Pearl happy third birthday because her birthday was on Friday. So, which we did, we did and uh, we, we had... I bought her a trampoline, a big massive trampoline, and I bought that in September as part of her birthday present. And I said I'd make it up, because we got, we got a really good deal on that from Tesco, got it reduced from 100 and something to 80 quid, a pink one. You know, with um, all the mesh around it, so it's quite safe in the zip and all that, and she loves it. And I said I'd make it up to 100, so I know that she liked those. You know those pink castle things that you can get? And they're, they're on Amazon, they're 50 quid. But I managed to get one um, for 25, I think it was, or 22 or something like that. Not much, it wasn't much. Brand new as well. So we set that up for her and filled it with balloons the night before. And when she got up in the morning, we sang her birthday. And it was lovely, really, really lovely. And the weather was really great because we decided that we were going to go to Porton Park, where, which is in uh, Hampshire the home of Peppa Pig World. So we decided that we were going to go and two of my friends joined me, uh, Lynn and her daughter Alexandra and her two children, Michael who's three and Annabelle who's going to be one next Thursday. So we all met there, we all set off, we set off just after 10 o'clock and we met Lynn and Alexandra and the children there and we arrived just at the same time just after 12 o'clock and it was lovely weather. It wasn't uh, raining. It wasn't always sunny. It was a little bit cloudy, but it was lovely, warm enough, you know, no queues on the ride. Now, Porton Park, half of it's for children, like Peppa Pig World and whatnot, and the other half has got three or four adulty rides, but there was no one there. So, you know, in the second half of the day, me and, me and Emily went, <laughs> went running around uh, the adult bits and kept going on the roller coasters and, you know, staying on. But uh, we, it was good, it was good. Anyway, we left the park, it closed, the rides closed at half four, so we left about quarter to five, five o'clock, and, and headed back to my sister's house. And it took just about two hours, and my mum had already decided that we were gonna, she was gonna treat us to an Indian meal in the evenings so have a takeaway, because there's really lovely food down there where Emily lives. So we got that, and it was all lovely. And then we got home, and was dishing up, and I planned to go out with two of my friends, Mark and James, which you've seen that nighttime letters from Friday night, and I got a little bit drunk. And the reason I got a little bit drunk is because when I left my villa on Thursday, now some of you will know that um, since April, a friend of mine who was in dire straits, who had nowhere to live, had no money, uh, was sleeping on the floor in or wherever he stayed, ended up going to Madrid, then going to Barcelona, and then he just had nowhere to stay. And I said, look, I sent him some money. Uh, I said, look, why don't you come back to Tenerife where you, you know, where I knew you from. Incidentally, I met him through somebody else, you know, no, no uh, sexual attraction or anything like that. Just being me being friendly, you know. So um, they came back. Uh, I paid for their flight to come back from Barcelona. And they stayed, they've been sending my house ever since. So probably about six months. And my family adore him, and my little niece absolutely loves him to bits, and he the same the same way, you know. So he's been there for some time, and even though he's uh, got no money, it's amazing how he seems to go out every day, and be able to drink and 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 eat and get drunk and do whatever else and smoke, and and but doesn't have no money. So I decided that, you know, 
it was sort of time to because it was I, it was supposed to be a stepping stone. Anyway, when I left on Thursday, I said to Victor, "Be a good boy, and don't have any strangers in my house." Well, on Friday, when I got back to my sister's with all the Indian food and you're in a great mood and everything like that, there was a text message, please call me, and a phone call, please call me. Anyway, I phoned him, I said, yeah, hi, all right. And he said, uh, did you take your laptop with you? I said, no, I hadn't taken it. He said, and then he started going, oh my God, and whatever. I said, what's happened? He said, well, I brought some people back here last night. I said, well, who were they? I don't know, he says. Ended up bringing two Spanish girls, a Moroccan, a Spanish guy, and an English guy, back to my house. And while she was doing whatever he was doing with the English guy, the others have helped themselves to my laptop and to my iPhone. Well, obviously I've gone mental and I said to him, you're taking the mickey. I didn't use that word, but I, you know, I said, you know, I just need you to get out of my house and you need to, you know, Go and stay at one of your other friends' house because, you know, he's just taking liberties. So he left the house. But he must have said something to the people that he met because they came back to my house last night and broke in and took the rest of the stuff, the television, the other phones. The police have been called and it's just... I'm not allowed it to really spoil the weekend or whatever, but what can I do? I'm here. Thank God for my good friend Maureen, who lives a couple of doors away, and her husband Dave, and her brother Tony, who were there hand on call and went round there and really helped out. They, the people pulled the, you know, like the gate, iron gates. Well, this was in this, put into this, concreted into the cement, and they, they wrenched it off of my bedroom and got in that way for a television, for a television. There's a knock on the door. That's my Chinese, so I'll have to go and I'll uh, catch you later. I don't want to come back to you. It's my ch Chinese takeaway, treating myself, cheer myself up. Anyway, um, basically, Maureen and Dave and Tony have been absolutely great. Uh, they've really, I've gone to town, obviously, as you can imagine, uh, with the, the Victor, but they've had to secure it. And that's it really, I don't really know what else to say about it, but I've had a great weekend and someone might say, oh look what it costs you to go back to England to be with your family. Well I don't care about them like that, that's not, I don't care, you know, and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. But um, it just makes you think, you know, why do people bother being, doing nice things for people when they disrespect you in that way. I'm never doing that again. Uh, I, I know who my friends are. I know, my, my, you know, my close circle of friends who would never take advantage of me and that. Other people don't matter. And they can, all they want, and call names and silly statuses and whatnot because I'm not interested. Because you don't know me. But um, that's that. Anyway, I'm back tomorrow. So I'll face the music then on the... Monday and go to the police on Tuesday. But anyway, I'm going to have my Chinese now. Uh, sleep well, ladies and gentlemen. Keep vigilant, all right? Keep vigilant. If you see anything, whatever. If you've got a phone, film it. Get your phone out, do whatever. But uh, I'm all right. It's a television. It's a laptop. It's an iPhone. It's a Samsung phone. And, you know, all of them can be replaced. But it's the trust that you put into somebody and now they abuse that. But you live and you learn, I suppose. Sleep well, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.